Hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome to Fifth Element Throw. I'm here to do our daily energy read for today, which is August 24th, 2020. Card, excuse me, daily energy for numerology. So 824, 2020, breaks to an 18, then breaking to a nine. Nines are all about growth and expansion. Okay, but I got a serious uh, download about spiritual growth. So this is going to be the concentration. First thing I heard, exploration. And then imploration station. So imploration. Earnest supplication request. To implore is to beg someone earnestly or desperately to do something. So it gives me a sense of seriousness a pleading on the angelic realm with the word imploration. Stop to reconsider energy. And then I was shown 11. So 11 is about divine inspiration, synchronicity, encouragement to keep going. And then I heard research, learn, investigate for yourself. And then I was shown five, five, excuse me, five, five, one energy. So I almost said five, five, five. So still on this tower energy, but the tower is about dismantling faulty thinking. Okay. So five, five, one breaks to an 11. I saw it as an 11 in my mind's eye and then 101. 101 is a very special code for me. It is my alert that great things are on its way. This 11 master karmic number for numerology is all about cause and effect, fairness, responsibility, consequences, karma, balance, and equilibrium. So in the tarot deck, the 11th card of the major arcana is the justice card. Justice is all about fairness. Karmic Master number 11 also has huge teacher vibes to it. It's about an illuminator, someone who comes to illuminate the mind, the psyche, the messenger, the teacher. Okay, then I heard soul power. And then I was shown in my mind's eye the justice card. So as I sat with it, what stood out was that there is on one side scales of judgment, fair judgment, and on the other side, a sword. So, And this justice card, on one side of the person sitting in the seat is the scales of judgment, and the other side is the sword of truth. Ace of Swords. So judgment and truth. Cutting through to the truth. Judgment is the ability to make considered decisions or come to sensible conclusions. So sensible conclusions. Conclusions that make logical sense. So some sort of fair decision where the sword is going to cut through a situation where you're not swayed by the outer appearance of a thing. And then in conclusion, throw cards, any tool of divination is not evil. Okay. That's something you've learned. Cards are simply pieces of paper. They're tools to interpret messages. The messages can be divine or maleficent, depending on the intent of the reader. Now, when you work with energy, you are super aware of spiritual beings, okay? 
when you're numb, neck down, numb, all you are aware of is what happens here in the tangible. So to tell me that my directives directly from God are wrong requires you to get into imploration station, okay? Because it makes no logical sense. We are always continually surrounded by the spiritual realm. The spiritual realm uses the human body all day, every day to forward their agenda. The cards are simply a tool. Message is going to be something along those lines. So let's go ahead and get it. Heavenly Father, Holy Spirit, angels of the highest love and light, you are welcome to here. Please fill this space. I'm here to do a daily energy read for Fifth Element Tarot as a collective for August 24th, today, 2020. Using me as the channel, please give us a clear and concise message. You know how I read. Thank you. So the color for the portal is orange. Sacral energies, creative energies, pleasurable energies. But I get this as a deep dive into the unknown to uncover the truth. So not the indoctrinated truth, but the absolute truth. So overall read on the energy, split energy. Absolutely. So light side, dark, interesting. All right. So overall, so more in dark than light. The only way to interpret that. Okay, so um, super interesting because I did something in my personal life this past weekend. Um, I was called to be my authentic self in every platform. So Facebook is something that I really don't use. I only use it for personal reason, reading reasons, readings, interesting, personal reasons. So I don't frequent Facebook. I've even turned it over, let my cousin use my password and stuff. And she's been using it for about two years. So she goes and scrolls. But I never mention anything on my personal Facebook account about my work here on YouTube. And I was told to do it this weekend. So there's been an influx of energy, onlooking energy, okay? From people in my personal life who know me personally, but don't know my gifts. This is the energy that we're taking a look at right now. I was just told clearly, okay? I'm looking energy. People who have not evolved. People who are stuck in religion. People who allow other people to dictate how they worship. Welcome. So one card as an overall read on the energy for today. August 24th, 2020. And I'm fine with on-looking energy. The goal is to grow. So if you're still breathing here in this tangible existence, there are lessons that you are to learn. The day that your lessons are fully learned, you no longer exist on this plane. Make no mistake about it. So if you think you have it all figured out and you're breathing, the answer is no. Okay? One card as an overall read on today's energy. Thank you. Comes out strong, central to the issue, and reversed. In the upright. True healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. Yeah, somebody triggered by my work. Why are you triggered? What are you afraid of? If you are triggered, that is your soul urging you to investigate. What? The unknown. Absolutely. What this energy is based on. Happiness is my birthright. Look at all the beautiful, brilliant yellow in this card. So someone refusing to see their birthright. 
your birthright is to be a sovereign being in this existence, to ex evolve yourself, your thinking, to your rainbow body, to your ultimate self. So the leaders that you follow in religion accomplish that task. So much so that they left the whole religion for you to follow. But those things that were deposited in the ascended masters live deep within you. It's about you getting to your God self, not limiting your God self by religion. Happiness is my birthright. So let's get us a spread. Where can I go for a spread? Let's do wisdom of the hidden realms for a spread. I don't have any cards out, guys. So let me, give me a second to do that. And this box is heavy. Okay. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms is wrapped in yellow. So, yellow is about strength, the core of the matter. So tell the story about cutting off um, deeper knowing to fit in a box to fit in a box of religion, okay? I will not dim my shine for anybody else's comfortability. Absolutely not. I am who I am and I stand firmly in my being. The things that I know of this world and the next, One card, let's look at it. Challenge central to the issue. So we got two reverse cards, all telling you what energy you're in. Nothing upright so far. And the first card out of the spread is a challenge card. So challenge to do what? Absolutely, shadow queen. Acquiring knowledge, insecurity, manipulation. Okay, card number 16. 16 breaks to a seven. Sevens are all about journeying to your higher self, your God self. I tell no lies. And I was just told this is the only card that we'll get. And they want to read it. So let's do that. Card number 16. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to read it in its entirety. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Looking for 16 in the book. They show me Sisters of the Season, which is the very next card. Gives me a feeling of progression. Seasons are all necessary. So it's about um, getting from each season in life the lessons that come with those seasons. Okay, again, a zing on lessons. So the Shadow Queen, let me hold it up. I'll try to hold it and read it at the same time. The Shadow Queen tells you that too many of the details hidden behind your circumstances prevent you from moving forward quickly at this time. She's come with a lantern to help shed light on what is concealed within you or your situation. This is the time to wait for, for more to be revealed. Perhaps you lack clarity and the knowledge of how to proceed with the subject of your inquiry. It's time to educate yourself a little more about your intention and then put that information to work for you. The Shadow Queen asks that you dig deep to gain strength and that you have the courage to ask someone in the know to shed light on your circumstances. She promises to send that person to you. Beware of moving too quickly in the dark as you will likely trip and fall and have to start again. In the dark, you want to portray yourself like you're in the light, but you're not because you've been spoon fed your knowledge. Okay? So, unless you're getting knowledge from deep within on your soul level, you're tapping into your soul power, you want to take a pause and gather information before you judge anyone. Okay? The base of this deck absolutely tell lies for what? The wise woman of the wonderland, integrity, empowerment. Card number 21 brings to a three. 
all about connection and communication with the angelic realm. Let's get us a card of advice for navigating this energy. I'm going to Sundara Fons, Reawakening the Soul Deck, which is, by the way, <laughs> so odd, wrapped in orange, okay? Sacral energies, again, at the base of this deck, a challenge for transformation. Interesting. Okay. One card, please, for navigating the energy in this room. For those who fail to see beyond the veil. And this failure to see beyond the veil leaves you at a disservice. Please don't judge the things you don't know. You are to grow your knowledge and then make an educated decision. Logical decision. Imploration station. One card, please, for navigating this energy. There is anxiety in the air. Yeah, because it's a hard thing, especially when you're up in age, to have to reconsider your thoughts. Okay, but it's necessary. Growth is necessary. Evolution, necessary. A deeper understanding, necessary. Two cards both being nurtured, unknown from the bottom, finding no gratitude for the all, and needing to meditate. Absolutely. So this means you cannot accept or have, be grateful for other people's opinions and or approach to God. Okay? So closed off is the energy I feel. And because you're closed off and you think you haven't figured out, it's time to get to a quiet space and meditate. I'll read both. You don't tell me. I, I, I know too much. So unless you have grown your knowledge, please don't sit in judgment of anyone. Don't even make a judgment until you have necessary information. Okay, how about that? That's the best way to maneuver. How about don't sit in judgment at all? Try that. Gratitude. Be thankful and mindful of God, the giver of all gifts. He is the richest who is content with the least. For contentment is the wealth of nature. Cart message. Bless all the gifts in your life. Offer gratitude for your loved ones. Give thanks for your possessions. Appreciate all situations in your life from the past to the present. If you perceive any experience as negative or painful, open to the grace of gratitude and find the hidden rewards. Recognize many ways in which you touch the lives of others and honor yourself. You were placed upon this earth to serve others with your exclusive gifts. These gifts of service include your unique personality, individual talents, and exquisite love. The greater legacy is to remember your soul as an all-perfect reflection of God and share this awareness through your kindness. Always remember the true giver of everything, including health, wealth, success, and happiness, is God. Divine intelligence and beauty are the hidden sources of all patterns of creation. Let me say it again. <laughs> Divine intelligence and beauty are the hidden sources in all patterns of creation. Once you have found him in the depths of your soul, you will experience him everywhere. Sincere gratitude to your creator is the greatest gift you can give. Introspection. What am I grateful for in my life and why? In what way am I grateful for myself? What material abundance am I thankful for? What gratitude can I find in pain or suffering? Affirmation. I am thankful for everything in my life. Say it with me. I am thankful for everything in my life, even opposing positions, because they give us an opportunity to pause and reconsider. Meditation. Looking for it in the book. In the upright. So 
not finding gratitude in the all, needing to meditate. Meditation, reunite your soul with spirit in the sacred space of silence. When you go beyond the consciousness of this world, knowing that you are not the body or the mind and yet aware as never before that you exist, that divine consciousness is what you are. You are that which is rooted in everything in the universe. Card message. Stop those uncontrollable thoughts running in every direction. A mind that is wholly occupied by the senses can neither be offered to God nor received by him. Breathe deeply. It's time for you to remember your authentic self as spirit. Meditation is the way. It's time to attain mastery over your restlessness of the mind. Control your feelings and sensations and put your mind on God. Through meditation and stillness, you will experience for yourself the ultimate proof of God's existence. Through the calm, intuitive state of inner perception, your understanding deepens and you will find answers to your questions. In silence, you will experience increasing mental and physical efficiency in your daily life. With the presence of God, you will have everything. Introspection. Am I allowing myself the gift of meditation every morning and evening? How can I consciously bring the peace from meditation into my daily activities? Do I acknowledge the spirit that makes up who I am? Am I ready to relinquish my thoughts and place my emphasis on remembering my divine nature? Affirmation. Every particle of my being is submerged in eternal light. I am filled with this light, which contains the divine spirit within and around my being. Say it with me. Every particle of my being is submerged in eternal light. I am filled with this light, which contains the divine spirit within and around my being. Absolutely you are. And it's time that you stop doing surface worship, surface um, service to the divine. Okay? Because up until now, if you have not explored the unknown, it's surface. This is our message. I hope it was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box below. You'll find additional helpful information about this read. Angel numbers, numerology, additional insight. It's about listening to your inner voice, inwardly listening. Please go follow on IG. I'm there seven days a week with the card of the day at Fifth Element Row 777. Until tomorrow, my beautiful people, I am wishing you miracles and blessings. Namaste.